I'm here with Jonas Fung from Flipper. They just finished a match. You played against which team? Sorry, come in. Who did you play against? We played against the um, uh, Piranhas from uh, Spain. Spain. <laughs> and uh, we, we won um, 14, I think. Zero. Yep. And you scored six goals. Yeah. Four or five. Five or six. Five or six. So wh why did you have such a high score? How do you explain that? Well, I've been practicing a lot. <laughs> I know I have the physics to, 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 to be the right place and have the, the, the air and the, the conditioning for it, but, but that's not enough. You have to practice and have to be able to, to really hit it hard when, when, you are, when you're at the right position. So I've been practicing and I have my, uh, the coach, Mikkel Rasmussen, which is really, uh, what do you say, after me, he's really uh, making sure that I have to hit hard and, 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 and practice my goal scoring. He's looking for you to deliver more and get ready for Graz. Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's a way to push yourself, so it's, uh, it's wonderful. So Denmark is in many ways a favorite nation now to succeed at uh, the next World Championships. And, and yet there's a strange situation. The, number, the total number of underwater rugby players in Denmark has fallen to below 1,000. So you lost a lot of money from the state financing. Yeah, yeah. I know maybe some of um, I think there's more elite players, um, but but the overall uh, number is, has fallen a bit. I think some of the small clubs that has been playing for maybe 10, 20, 30 years, a lot of old guys suddenly they got really old and and, and then they can't play anymore and they really haven't got any new uh, new kids in. Then the club just die out. I think what's happened? I started playing in a club called uh, Kelambo, um, and and there's nothing left. Um, and there was just a, lo a lot of old guys, and we all, all the youngest moved to Copenhagen, and then there's no one left. They really didn't recruit anyone. So, so now Christian Schaefer has taken on the position of the head of the committee for national development and organization of underwater rugby in uh, Denmark. Is he the right person? Yeah, of course he is. But he's, he's really. Um, He's really, what do you call, uh, put a lot of energy in it, um, well spoken, um, and he really wants the sport to grow and keep going forward and not going backwards or say, it's all right, we are about a thousand, that's not good enough, you want more, I think he can do that, he's the man for the job. Okay. So there's going to be some sort of program from Christian Schaefer and he's going to get the people in uh, the Federation behind him and the rugby folks to recruit and get more clubs going again i'm not i'm not into the what he's gonna plan <laughs> i haven't read i only, only read that he's he's appointed so i don't know what his plan is but um but well some of it is also in the clubs you have to work maybe you have the uh, make a plan out but it's the in the club you have to 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 start doing some junior work i tried starting a junior team in flipper actually um but it's hard to get the first five, six young players. That's the hard part. And we didn't succeed this, uh, this uh, what do you call it, not spring. Uh, we're trying again next spring here to get a new team together. So we can get some youngers to play with so we don't get old. <laughs> well, people who are watching this, they might think that I'm asking leading questions. You know this expression, leading questions, in order to put pressure on Christian Schaefer. <laughs> and um, it's true. So, uh, and I, and I know he played, he started when he was young as well, so he know what it's, what it's needed to get a good, uh, a good uh, community. Um, and if you don't have the community, the youngsters won't be there. Uh, you can see uh, how uh, E uh, suddenly got, I don't know, three, four, five hundred uh, players uh, from age, I don't know, six to yeah, the, the older guys. So, so it's huge. They, they have a coach living from the sporting. I don't know if that's the goal from Denmark to have a coach living for it. That's maybe a bit setting the high, too high, but, but, but I'm really hoping he, 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 he will start working on the plan. That's the first step and then we can start uh, developing. Maybe Tim Jensen, who's also with your club, could uh, find some kind of program to work with MK13 so that the kids would swim and play rugby and that they would actually like their swimming more because they're training more for the swimming and the rugby together. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe combining some of the sport. You 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 have a lot of um, uh, 
you know, but all these young girls, they are like 10, 12, 14. Um, uh, it's it's very good for their uh, development overall that they try different sports. So if they only focus on swimming when they are 10, and they suddenly don't like it or whatever, they might just stop doing anything at all. Eh? So if they try different stuff, underwater rugby would definitely be one because it's so close together. Eh? Good swimming, then you're a good player. Or easier a good player. And eh? yeah. uh, what about the next match? Uh, coming back to the question of Champions Cup. You guys want to win it, and what do you have to? Who do you have to go through in order to reach the final and win? Well, the first one is Malmo next game tomorrow at 8:30, uh, and that's the real first game where uh, I'm pretty sure there won't be five or six goals <laughs> from uh, one person. I think it will be a much closer, much more, more tough game. Um, I'm 100% sure we will win, but uh, we only win when the time is done and we uh, have more goals than the other team. So, so. That's the first step, uh, and then there's the, the, the quarterfinal. Whatever we win or lose tomorrow, we'll be in a quarterfinal. And then I don't think more ahead, because that's enough for me. <laughs> there's no use in guessing what's going to happen. No, no, you have no, to, no, yes. All right. Well, thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you. Yeah.